Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Revolve tool. So this will be just a quick uh, little tutorial. Uh, so um, our main goal is to basically create like a cylindrical-like object, but it'll be more towards like if you had pottery or if you needed to create um, a, like a glass bottle or a container, this would be perfect. Um, and we're going to work off uh, CVs and also something else called the free image plane as you see right here so go ahead and click on that and there's already pre you know like pre settings you know but you can designate its height and width but we're just gonna go with this and here in your attribute editor you're gonna see basically a window um, with a file that's where we want to grab our profile image of this object and we already have a, a project that's created and set uh, so we have a previous tutorial on that. I think that was tutorial number one. Uh, so go ahead and, and do that before you, you know, you dive into all this. Uh, but here is our pottery image, and we're gonna create a profile uh, curve from, you know, from CVs, uh, which we talked to talked about that last uh, tutorial oh, with, with the staircase. Uh, so you know, we'll go through that. Go ahead and hit open when you select your image. And there we go. So there is our image, and we're going to jump into orthographic view to create our profile curve and go from there. So this this camera here, the front camera, is the one we're going to use. And we're not going to be completely exact with this because the camera is not at like spot on you know like flat so we're just gonna make like an approximate curve you know just kind of follow its overall silhouette profile whoops we're not gonna get that intrinsic into this uh, give me just one second okay there we go so we're gonna go to create curve tools CV curve tool okay and we're going to basically divide this in half, okay? Um, I know you can use your snap to uh, tools up here if you want. Um, I don't think we're going to do that with this one. Me, actually, I think I will. This is your snap to tools, and one will be for the grid. So if you click here, it'll automatically be dead on to the grid. And I think I'm going to use it for that one. This one is for individual other vertexes. And you can, um, I'll, I'll do a whole other tutorial on these guys, but today we're going to just use snap to grids, okay? Just for a split second. I'm going to kick off vertices and snap to grid now, now that we have it. And I'm just going to start drawing. Actually, I'm going to keep this on to get the flat. I'm hoping it'll do it. If not, um... Uh, yeah okay you can also hit down shift while drawing here with the click of your left mouse button to get a nice little flat line image that lot uh, sorry a flat line okay and then from there simply hit you know keep clicking follow the tracing of the the pottery okay and we're just going to go through that real quick Okay, so now you see our curve here. Uh, once you're done drawing, don't forget to hit enter and it should finalize what we have. And there we go, we have a nice little curve. Okay, so we're gonna go back into our perspective window. And so right now it's a flat image with a flat curve. Not much is going on. So over here in your modeling section, is your surfaces menu and we're going to use a little tool called revolve it's very powerful open up your options box so you can set the axis preset to have it revolve like literally rotate around um, have you're going to have basically a camera angle and this one we're going to do y so it's going to literally revolve around the y axis um, and if you get confused you can always either look here in the bottom left hand corner of your perspective camera or you can uh, open up your, I don't think, oh, there we go. 
yeah um, so if, if you hit the E key you can see literally which way you want to go around uh, so you want to follow the green here and uh, that's the way it's going to revolve and rotate around okay and you want to have your pivot to object you want to have it set to cubic and we want polys. Well, I'm going to use polys. Um, I think polygons are kind of the most easiest to deal with. Um, I'm going to have it set for quads and not triangles. And I'm going to have it set at a count. This model is going to be, I'm going to set it at 500 and just see where it goes. So that's how many polys or squares we're going to have. Once we have that set, um, we're going to hit revolve. Okay, and there we go. So look at that. All right, so we have an object. Um, and it, it literally revolves around the center pivot of your um, of your object. Now this guy is a little black. Not a little, a lot. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, for the quick uh, cut to a whole other you know moment in this tutorial so uh, I was trying to figure out why the lighting wasn't showing up so make sure when you have lighting make sure you have two-sided lighting on um, otherwise it was doing like this weird opposite lighting thing where only the back side was being illuminated um, and it, the light was basically opposite opposite in behavior uh, so here's our revolved object um, if I just simply you know I'm not gonna get rid of this but I'm going to add it to a layer and we did that earlier and it's going to turn it off so there's our little pottery thing you know you can make it so that the curve will you know make a little you know not a little but it'll you know make an in interior inside the vase here um, but that's how you would do a revolve shape um, kind of handy for pottery uh, if you need some kind of specialized tubing shape for like a tapestry um, glass bottles you know I think I may do a tutorial on how to make uh, glassware in um, what's it called Arnold there's a very specific way to do that um, it used to be a little bit more simpler but now that we added you know our wonderful Arnold uh, which is actually really great um, you can get beautiful um, you know just beautiful colors of glass um, I helped a student with that and uh, so we'll continue to, to keep plugging in um, so I don't think there's any actual keystrokes for this uh, other than the shift key when creating the uh, the CV curve um, and that's pretty much it guys uh, thank you for turning in bye